So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. This phone right here is getting the most SIM card time for me right now. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I've covered it here before, but in this video, I wanna to explain to you why this one has become my main phone for the most part. Now I was using the S21 Ultra for most of the year, and I may even switch back to the S22 Ultra when it comes out, but the iPhone 13 Pro Max has been so good, and I wanna explain to you some, not some of the basic reasons, we already talked about the basic reasons why this thing is great, we already know a lot of the specs, but I also have been swayed by the Galaxy Z Fold 3, a lot of people have been loving this, me included, but this phone is just so good for you know being refined, and you know we're kinda of used to bigger smartphones. The first reason I wanna discuss why this phone really has become such a dream to use, such a joy, is essentially the perfect performance, or at least near perfect performance. We haven't seen a perfect performing phone probably in the history of smartphones, but this one gets really close to like perfect performance. I, I kid you not, like with the 120 Hertz, with the overall experience with this phone, it's just been buttery smooth. No matter what you do, you're just getting near perfection on performance. And what that does is in the day to day, the experience just feels so good. Like it just feels like, I don't even gotta think about it, bro. Like it just, it feels good. I know it's gonna be fast. I know I'm gonna be able to open my tabs. I know I'm gonna get business done. I know I'm gonna get everything done. And I don't gotta think about the phone. It just kinda goes off in the background and you're fine. You're good to go. Very good performance here. Something that's often overlooked on smartphones have gotta be the brightness factor. And this phone right here hitting 1,000 and nits is incredibly nice here. You know, it just makes it feel super high end all the time because no matter if you need to crank that brightness up, you can see how it overexposes here in the video. This is one of the areas where I find other phones just can't reach the same maximum level of brightness, at least that you can control. Now you can trigger some ridiculous bright levels on some Samsung phones when you hit the auto brightness outdoors, which get even higher than this. But when it comes to usable, this phone is super usable. The only issue I have with it is that if it gets too warm, it kind of cranks the brightness down and then you kind of can't use it. But for the most part, it's super bright and it also gets super dim. So if you're using the iPhone 13 Pro Max and you want to use it at nighttime, look, it's basically invisible right there. All right, guys, so the next one has got to be the flashlight brightness. Now, I hope that's not blinding you, but what I really like about most iPhones is the ability to tweak the levels of brightness on your iPhone, but what's specifically nice about the Max phone is this bright, this flash on here is ridiculously bright. So it actually really comes in handy. I use it quite a bit at nighttime when just, you know, going to the bathroom or whatever, it's too dark in the house, you gotta quickly, you know, turn on the brightness or you're outside, you need to check something, it dropped on the ground, whatever, you need some brightness with that flashlight. This is a strong flashlight. And I know it just seems like it's kind of silly, like why you mentioned all phones got that, but. This flashlight on here is just brighter than a lot of phones I've seen and a lot more accessible to go ahead and change those levels. So love it. The flashlight on here is one of the reasons I actually really enjoy having this phone with my SIM in it most of the time. iPhone 13 Pro Max is reliability when it comes to its overall battery. Now I'm not talking about, we, we clearly know this phone has been praised by multiple reviewers, including myself in the past about its battery. But here's where it really shines and that's in the consistency of this battery. When I'm using this phone, my brain literally forgets about the battery life. Like this doesn't happen for almost any other phone. This device right here though, I literally don't even think about it. Like I remember sometimes during the day, did I even check my battery? And then I look down, it's at 60, it's at 70. And I'm like, there, that, that, that's what I wanna see in a phone. Like, do you ever feel like that? Like if you got the 13 Pro Max, let us know how it's going for you. But for me, that's how it is. I really enjoy the consistency, the reliability. You, It's kind of like, you know, you just know it's gonna do well. It's kind of like if you have a good gasoline car, like a car that gets good gas, you just know it's gonna get good gas, whether you're driving it fast or slow, it just, a good, it just gets good gas. Like you just know this gets good battery life. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. It's gonna get good battery life. That's just what it is, it's consistent. So the next one is iMessage. It's a sticky OS with this iMessaging system. This The system is just, 
a lot of people in my circle, my personal circle are using this. Most of the people in my professional life don't always use iPhone. So like when I'm doing business with other companies and people, they're not always using iPhone, but definitely, you know, my family and friends are definitely using iPhone and iMessage is a really sticky way to go ahead and message people. You know about the blue bubble, the green bubble. I don't really care about all that, but I do know that when I can see people, what they read and everything's going through smoothly all the time. And then when I switch over to Android and I'm having a little bit of an issue with getting my messages across, that's a little bit annoying. So it kind of forces me to use this sometimes, or most of the time, actually, when I'm coming to messaging them, because sometimes I don't even get my stuff. So I'm sure some of you could relate. Some of you probably can't relate if you're using WhatsApp or something like that. But I got to say, the iMessage is definitely very sticky for the iPhone. Next up is the cameras. The cameras are just ultra consistent for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and you do get yourself plenty of modes, such as the full zoomed up to 15x. In addition to that, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it just feels like I don't have to take, you know, my camera anywhere with me anymore. And I've been saying this since the 11 Pro Max, but this one is quite a bit better because it does have the macro mode as well as cinematic video. It can do raw photos. It just always gives you this great result with Smart HDR4. And with that being said, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is just super consistent in this area. The video focus is quite amazing as well. And it's just hard to want to take a camera out with you when you have all of this. It's that good. It really is. There's just not much else to say about it. And because of this, if you take a look at some other phones, they'll oftentimes produce some softer results or the focus will go out of whack or whatever. It's just ultra reliable, just like the battery. Of course, we have a similar front facing camera to before. But on the whole, this phone really is darn impressive in the camera area. I've yet to see a phone that all around the board is likely better. We do have better zooming cameras, but video is really my thing. And this phone has some of the best video out there. So that's what I mean when I say better. The video is very strong on this device. So that's going to wrap it up here, guys. I just wanted to give you a take on what is my main phone right now as of February 2022. This might change when the S22 Ultra comes around. So be subscribed if you want to see content on that. I didn't want to go through a bunch of specs here. I just wanted to give you real world examples of why this phone has definitely been getting a lot of usage. And a lot of people like to know, well, what are you actually using, bro? You do all these reviews, but what are you using, man? And by the way, I do use a case. I use this like off generic brand leather case. If you want to pick it up, let me know. If some people comment, I'll consider putting it in the description area of this video, but definitely decent phone for sure it's very good actually and uh, one that i think could last several years to come the apple a15 i didn't even talk about that but the performance ridiculous with that chipset i think this will last five years easily and still sustain that performance as long as apple keeps some updates rolling in it should be just fine let me know your thoughts do you have an iphone 13 pro max or an iphone 13 pro let us know your experience down below and if, and if you like these videos you want to see more like this be sure to subscribe because i have many more coming your way i'll catch you on the next one nick here be sure to be well and peace